I'd like to introduce the next speaker. Um, Sean Whitcomb will speak on assessing urban park quality using OSM data. Please welcome him. All right, so um, I am a, a teacher of environmental science at Mesa Community College near Phoenix, and I'm gonna be talking about uh, how I plan to use OSM data to assess urban park quality in the city of Phoenix. And so the theme of this conference, of course, is the great outdoors, but that means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. To, to many of us, I'm sure, we think of things like what you see on the left, which is maybe hiking in Bryce Canyon, you know, the great outdoors. But for many, and I would argue that probably most Americans, the great outdoors is actually their own local urban park. Uh, you know, going out to look at birds or work out on the exercise equipment out there or just walking through the park and looking at the trees. So I am interested in the urban park system in Phoenix. And uh, you know we have a pretty big urban park system. We have 175, what I consider urban parks, which are you know, green space type areas. Um, we also have a, a number of preserves that you can see on the map in the kind of tan color. I'm not gonna be um, dealing with those with my project. But I'm interested in things like, uh, you know, although a park you know, may exist in some area, how big is that park? What are the areas of those parks? What kinds of amenities do those park provi parks provide to the, to the citizens or the, the residents of that area? And what's the overall quality of those parks? And then further, I wanna look into, are there um, any differences, any disparities in the access to higher quality parks versus low quality parks? So when I think about the question of, are all Phoenix parks equal? The answer to that is obviously no, and they're, and they're never gonna be equal anywhere because some of the parks in Phoenix look like this, uh, where it's a huge area, that's a, a park. I micro-mapped all the parks in Phoenix, so very familiar with all of them. This is a huge park, uh, lots of tree cover, at least for Phoenix. Um, you know, there's lots of water there, uh, plenty of amenities, uh, that, every amenity you can imagine at a public park. And then some parks look like this, which is one of our mini parks. It is basically the size of a single lot. It's got some dirt, it's got some very small trees, and a single basketball hoop, um, and that's pretty much it. So I am thinking about who has access to the high quality parks in Phoenix. And uh, there's been a lot of research on this in other areas and in Phoenix a little bit. In some cities we find that higher income and or white residents tend to have better access to parks. But what that means can mean you know, different things, that term access. In some cities, it's actually the opposite. Um, and in, in Phoenix, there's been a little bit of work showing that majority Hispanic neighborhoods actually have a higher number of parks, however, the larger park areas are located closer to white neighborhoods. So there's a little bit of a disparity there possibly, um, but there has not been really a, a, an extensive research body done on um, Phoenix parks in terms of their quality. Um, and in many places we find that higher quality parks, if you include the amenities and other features of the park, um, higher quality parks are often concentrated in wealthier, wider areas. And I wanna know, is this also true in the city of Phoenix? Well, how am I going to do this? This is where OSM comes in. Um, I am going to double check, make sure all of these parks are fully mapped on OpenStreetMap. Every picnic ramada, every bench, every bathroom and so on is included on the map. And then using the data, uh, I wanna create a park quality score that takes into account things like the total area, all of those amenities, how much tree cover there is, what, what's the variety of sports fields, things like that. And then create some buffers around each park that's kind of a reasonable walking distance for people from nearby neighborhoods and determine who lives within the uh, within walking distance of each of these parks, and then quantify any disparities that might or might not exist in terms of uh, income, race, age of the residents who live within a certain distance of that park. Um, so this is, uh, I'm very much in the planning stages here. If you have any thoughts, any suggestions, if you're interested in this topic at all, I would love to talk to you. All of my contact info is on there. Thank you very much. <laughs> 